Alright, just going over some of the games I'm going to be playing, some of the games I have recently played or finished or just been dabbled in, um, some of my thoughts on them. This is a test for my actual webcam on my laptop. So yeah. So this will probably be called like a gaming vlog of sorts. I don't, I don't know, gaming vlog for... I mean, it's past, it's past midnight, so it's like, it's like 12.31 here. Technically, it's March 5th, 2015. So. As you guys know, before, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I do own a 3DS. I do own the Majora's Mask one. This is my Vita, my PS Vita, which is actually a pretty dang good system. It's my lock screen. Um, I don't care what people say. I know the Vita is pretty much a non-talked about system. That and the Wii U. But ironically, they're two of my favorite consoles, that and the 3DS. <laughs> so I love my Vita. Um, going to the Vita right now, basically, um, the main thing I like it for is the hunting games. So stuff like um, Soul Sacrifice uh, and these two games. We've got Freedom Wars here and uh, uh, Ragnarok Odyssey Peace. So yeah, I've been, I own both of these. I do own the. Uh, the limited edition set of this that comes with, I think, soundtrack CD and maybe an art book or something like that. I don't remember what it comes with. I have the box sitting on my shelf, but didn't feel like taking it down. But um, um, I got this around the time it came out. It was a little bit after, probably about a month or two after it came out. I got this. I really, really uh, enjoyed what I played. I played the first few chapters. I'm getting back into it. Um, I got stuck on a part and I kind of put it down. Other games came out, so you know how that goes. But I'm getting back into that. Um, Freedom Wars. I got this used um, uh, friend of mine. Um, we always go to GameStop for birthdays and Christmas. Let each other pick out games for a certain dollar, dollar limit. And I picked out this is one of the games I picked out. I think this was like twenty-two or something dollars used. Uh, but it's complete. Everything um, as complete as a beta game is. Pretty much. There's no manual. I think. But it's actually a really good game, another sort of um, Monster Hunter-ish sort of game, but it's actually vastly different from the others. But uh, I've been checking this out recently. I got it for, I think it was one of my Christmas ones, I think. I don't remember. But um, yeah, I've been checking it out lately. It's really cool. Probably pretty much, it's going to be the main game I'm playing on my Vita right now. So basically going back to this and checking more out. Some of this out. I also have up on my... Let's look at it's got the Soul Sacrifice Delta. I've been rocking that too. It's another awesome game. So yeah, as far as my Vita goes, I have quite a bit of stuff. Um, PlayStation All Stars, um, Muramasa Rebirth, another game I have to get back into it at some point, but yeah. Got some PS1 classics. I obviously Crash and Spiral and stuff, yeah. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, for 3DS, um, if you've seen my last video, you know I've beaten Majors Mass 3D. I got it a couple days after it came out because I had it I had the special edition ordered to me and I wasn't going to pay for any extreme shipping. So but this is Majora's Mask 3D. Um, as I said before, it's probably one of the best ways they could have redone the game. The only thing I don't like about it is the... I don't like the Zoro swimming in it compared to the original. And there was something else, or something else if you didn't like, but I don't remember it. Oh, the lack of no like hero mode or master quest or anything like that. I kind of was kind of hoping for like a new game plus mode, like the more recent Zelda's have had, like Link Between Worlds, Ocarina Time 3D, um, Discovered Sword, etc. Um, but, but yeah, this is nice on Majora's Mask 3D. I 100 percented it, so pretty much nothing else to do in the game. I put this aside for now. Probably go back to it in later years, but for now it's just in my collection. Picked up this, obviously, like I said in the last video, it is Ace Combat Assault Rising Legacy Plus. I wanted a game for my new 3DS to take advantage of the new features. This one has the Amiibo features, so I figured why not by Bandai Namco. I missed out on the first one when it came out 
back in the day, so, um, you know, why not? It's really fun. The 3D is really good. It's a dogfighting game, you know, it fills the hole until we get a new Star Fox game, Star Fox for you, pretty much. Um, so, I'm going to be checking out more of that. I played the first couple missions, but I'm going to be playing. And I've been playing this more, just got back into this uh, Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Um, basically because the new 3DS, the features on it, just make this game so much, so much better, in my opinion. Um, the fast reload times, because in the original 3DS and the 2DS, this thing loaded like a sloth. It was just, it took forever, like two minutes to boot up your whole game. Um, you can use Miiverse with it finally. Uh, Miiball support, C6 support, better 3D, just everything is better. Like, I, I can't go back, can't go back and play that on a 2DS or a, or a 3DS. Just, just, just can't. It's got to be on the new 3DS, new 3DS XL, which is the only one that North America got. But honestly, playing this game on a regular 3DS is hard. It's too small, too small screen. Um, let's see. We'll go to PS3 side of it. Um, no, I, this is the Steelbook edition for Dragon Balls and others, I talked about this. Um, this was the Day 1 edition with the Steelbook and GameStop, GameStop exclusive was the Steelbook. Day 1 edition is practically pretty much everywhere, but still, um, it came with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta character and some battle suits. Um, Steelbook's actually really nice, really nice, I like the, I like the gloss on it, the shine. Really nice design, nice black. Um, kind of does kind of suck that the the side doesn't have like the uh, like uh, for example, the next game I'm talking about is the Kingdom Hearts one. See how that has the on the side it has the name. This not the name. The side actually looks kind of like shit, but oh well. Fun's pretty badass. But um, been been checking this out. This came out on the twenty twenty fourth, I think. But um. So, um, I don't know, I'm still mixed on it. It's pretty good, but it has issues. I have to play more of it. I finished the Saiyan Saga, so I'm going to start doing the, the Namek stuff soon. The, I think it's like a new force in the free Saga, so I'm so sort of doing that. I've been doing a lot of parallel quests, so I got a couple friends that also have been playing the game. They got the game, so um, if I can get a good co-op group going, I might do some gameplay videos on that. It would be pretty interesting to do some online co-op. So that's that. Um, and like I said, I already showed it off, but this is the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 and 1.5 HD Remix Collector's Edition. This is the seal for it. Um, you see, the artwork is really, really nice. I wish I would have unboxed this back when it came out, but I didn't. It came with a big box that was exclusive to the Super Remix store, the online store. And it actually comes with <coughs> both. If you can see that, it comes with both of the Spinny's discs. Both the 1.5 and the 2.5 remixes. I do have the original 1.5 remix as well, the limited edition that came out with the art book, but I, uh, I, I still want to get this because I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. It's pretty much my favorite series next to Zelda, so I had to had to get this. It has a nice, nice finish, nice artwork, nice shine, on it. really really good quality. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be playing some more of this. I'm gonna be playing Professor Funnel Mix. I beat Terra's and Ben's story, um, and I kind of dropped it for some other games that came out and just other crap. Um, but I picked it back up, and I got to finish Aqua Story and finish the final episode. Um, it's pretty fun. It's my first time actually going through Burp by Six. I never owned a PSP, and they did not make it available on the PSP then. So it's pretty interesting. Um, first time going through this. So, yeah. And I want to get back in this. Um, this like coming week, Sly Cooper. I'm thinking about putting this in and playing some tomorrow. Um, I think it's, it's a very underrated series, but to be honest, I've only played the first run of this collection. I haven't even beaten it, so I'm going to start um, playing more of this because I've been in the mood for, um, for more platformers. And um, I've been in the mood for something like this. I've played, I've, like I said, well, I've played the first one. It's, it's really, really good. It's a really underrated. Um, I wish, I kind of wish uh, they'd represent like this more than they would like Ratchet and Clank. But, yeah. Um besides that oh Wii U. I gotta put my games over there. Okay, um pretty much um 
Bayonetta 2. This is the oh my computer's being lame. But um this is the the set that comes with comes with both Bayonetta 1 that does have whoop, Bayonetta 2, however, Bayonetta 2 is in my Wii U. I have not started it yet. I've actually owned this since it came out, but other games came out like Hyrule Warriors and such and Smash Brothers. But I have beaten Bayonetta 1. I do own it for the PS3 as well. Um, so I beat it quite a, quite a bit quite a while ago, but I wanted to go back and play it again on the Wii U. Use Miiverse and the ex exclusive costumes. It was pretty fun. And it's a nice refresher from when I found to start Bayonetta 2, which I do hope to start it sometime this week. <clears throat> um, I do own Kirby, but it's still Seal. I don't know if you can still see that. Um, I don't know. I haven't really played this yet. Obviously, it's still Seal, like I said, but I haven't. I haven't been the most excited about this, but I want to I wanna play it when I get all the Amiibos for it, which I only have two. I only have the Kirby and the King DVD. Meta Knight's going to be hard as hell to find, but um, once I get those, I think I'm going to plug this in and start playing there. And of course, of course, Super Smash Bros. Wii are pretty much one of my favorite games to play that's out right now. It's just it's Smash Brothers. It doesn't get old. And while the 3DS version is nice, um, Smash belongs on a console. It, it, it just belongs on a console. On the big screen TV, you know, four player or now eight player, you know, duking it um, in the living room. Or online for up to four players. Um, I might do some more online battles with a couple friends of mine, so maybe do some gameplay videos on that. We'll see. I do have a, um, actually a new TV. Actually, let me see if I can show you guys this real quick. So I do got that new TV rocking out. It's a 42 inch LG 1080p, 120 hertz. So it's not bad, not bad guy for me. Okay. But uh, so yeah, my gameplay videos will be better when I do resume making them. So I'll probably do a little bit of this. I'm, I want to do some gameplay with this. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, these two are the ones I really want to get some, uh, make some videos of. I'll do these two. And I don't know what else. Um, pretty much those. But yeah, like I said, I do want to check this out. In the, uh, probably play this when you get up in the morning. I'm about to, I'm about to head to bed. So yeah. Oh, and I got one more thing. Be right back. Just to show you guys, I do have these. <clears throat> it's uh, Amiibos. Five more to unbox. I'll probably make an unboxing video for these tomorrow. But uh, got Mega Man here, King D D, like I was just talking about. Um, <clears throat> I have Sonic and Ike, and of course, of course, had to get him. Um, Shulk, GameStop exclusive. So I do have. The GameStop exclusive and the uh, Toys R Us exclusive, which is Lucario. I'm still missing Rosalina and Luma from Target and the Meta Knight from Best Buy, unfortunately. So hopefully I can get those, or I might just import them when I get some extra money. Who knows? But probably doing an unboxing video on these five tomorrow. I've been holding them, waiting for them, just for when I'm not busy to do a nice unboxing. So um, that's about it. So um, yep, big things coming. Um, just stay tuned to my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.